In this lesson, I'll be showing you some of the tools that are native to PowerPoint that allow you to edit the brightness, the contrast, and the saturation of your photos within your PowerPoint presentations. It's a great tool to use to create a level of consistency within your photos, which helps sells your message and makes you look professional. So the photo that I'm using here is a photo of a uh, wooden giraffe. Giraffes are really important in the company culture at Duarte. We use giraffes uh, like this to give to each other as a form of appreciation. Not real giraffes, wooden giraffes like this. And just a fun fact, a herd of giraffes is actually called a tower. So now you know. The photo that I am using now is really dark and dim. And what I'd like to do is increase the contrast and the brightness so that it's a little bit more eye-catching to my audience and it does my giraffe justice. So if I escape out of play mode, I'll go ahead and select my giraffe photo here and right click and choose format picture. And in my format picture pane here, or panel, I'll select the icon all the way to the right. It just says picture when you hover over it. And all of these picture corrections will come up as options to you to change the properties of this photo. So under picture corrections, we see sharpness, brightness, contrast. And what I'm really going to focus on is the brightness and the contrast and the saturation here. I'm going to increase the levels of all of those to make this photo feel more warm and inviting and high contrast. So in my brightness, um, in this brightness level here, I can either drag this marker or enter in an exact number that I want to use. I don't know an exact number, but when I drag it over, I can see a preview happening on my photo, which is really handy to have happening. So I just want to make sure that some of the light from the ceiling is being highlighted, some of the ambient light that's getting uh, lost in that dimmed out version of this photo. So I think around 30% is great. I don't want it to get too bright. That might be distracting for my audience. And then I can also boost up the contrast, which will um, increase the richness of the darks in the photo and the brightness of the lights. So I'll click on my contrast marker here and drag that over. And this is a part that can be a little bit subjective. Um, it's totally, you can totally experiment with this and see what works best. Sometimes these tools aren't super sensitive, so anything above 30% tends to get a little bit distracting as opposed to successful. So I think about 29, 30% works well for the contrast. And then finally, I want to adjust the saturation, saturation just a little bit, which will enhance the vibrancy of the colors within the photo. Right now it's at 100%. If I were to drag this down to 0%, it would make it black and white. So no saturation means no color. So I would like just to enhance the vibrancy of that color by about maybe, let's say, 10 or 11%. I'm happy with the way this looks. So what I didn't do is create a duplicate of this photo to show you and before and after, but luckily, I can reset this photo to show you what that would look like. So I'll select my photo and under my format tab, I'll say reset picture and it will take it back to its original settings, which is great to know. When I put this in play mode, I can see a nice before and after. I can see my photo now looks a little bit dark and dim. And when I advance to the next slide, it's bright. There's lots of contrast and the colors are really popping out. So that's just an introduction to the tool. The three main Areas I like to adjust, again, are brightness, uh, contrast, and saturation. So when would I actually use this in a practical use case? Here is an example. Maybe you have three photos on a slide, and one of them is just not quite matching to the other two. Consistency is really helpful when using photography in your presentation. It helps sell your messages, and it also keeps your audience from being distracted. When I'm looking at this slide and I see this photo on the right hand side here, it almost looks as it's de-emphasized. And I don't want my audience thinking that the two photos before it are more important or that we're talking about those and not the annual events photo here. So if I escape out of play mode, I can select this photo, right click and hit format picture or click format picture. Again, navigate to my picture icon under my format picture panel 
and increase the bright, or actually in this case, it's really bright. It's kind of blending in with the background. So I want to decrease the bright brightness and I'll enter in maybe negative 20% here. That increases a lot of the gray tones in the background, which is not exactly what I want. But if I go back to that panel, somehow I, here we go. Uh, I can increase the contrast. That will help the richest of the darks and the lights come out a little bit more. So let's try 20%. Um, how about 30%? That might work a little bit better. Much better, and I'll increase the saturation to 110%. Now, when I look at this photo in play mode, I'm not confused about what photos are being highlighted. They all look equally treated. And that's something that's really important to keep your audience on track when you're speaking. So one last tool that I sometimes use if I'm working with photos that look so different from one another, one another, I'll show you an example. In this example, all of these photos are treated with um, kind of different color tones. So this first photo looks really yellow. The second photo is pretty normal but has a lot of red tones in it. And the third photo is very purple. In cases like this, to bring a level of consistency, I might just change them all to black and white. So I can select all of these photos and go to my picture tool. Actually, I have to do this one at a time, which is kind of annoying, but I can just decrease the saturation for all of them to 0%. You're losing some of the vib vibrancy of the colors here, but the trade-off is that your photos now look much more consistent and professional. So now you have some tools to edit your photos within PowerPoint. This will really help bring a level of consistency to your photos and also help you emphasize photos in a way that's more eye-catching to your audience. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you in the next lesson.